Hello again. I was told you were coming. That was a passive sentence. I was told. To make it active, I'd say, someone told me. Have you ever wondered why we need the passive? We usually prefer active sentences, but there are some cases where the passive is better or even necessary. Let's talk about when it's necessary to use the passive. As you probably know already, in the passive, the object of an active verb becomes the subject of the passive verb. The person or thing that performed the action of the verb is called the agent or the doer of the action. We often use the passive when we don't know who the agent is. For example, this sweater was made in England. Who made the sweater? Was it a person or a machine? I'm not exactly sure. Sometimes we have a general idea who the agent is, but it's obvious or unimportant. If I say, the essays have been graded, we can assume the teacher graded the essays. Or, the criminal was arrested. Who arrested the criminal? The police, obviously. We also use the passive when we want to avoid mentioning the agent. Harry is considered a great public speaker. I don't want to say who considers him to be a great public speaker. Maybe I want to say that many people consider him to be a great public speaker. Or maybe I'm the only person who considers him to be a great public speaker. Similarly, we can use the passive to avoid blame. For example, I can say, the car door was left open all night. In this sentence, I might know who the agent was, but I don't want to blame or embarrass that person. Notice, in all the examples so far, I did not use a by phrase. We usually delete the by phrase in passive sentences because it is unnecessary to mention the person. If we want to mention the person, we usually use active voice. Let's imagine my aunt made this sweater. I would normally use active voice. My aunt made this sweater. But sometimes we use the passive to focus on the receiver or result of the action instead of the agent. If you say, I really like your sweater, I might answer, this sweater was made by my aunt, or it was made by my aunt. In this example, we're focusing on the sweater not my aunt. We include a by phrase because it contains important information. Ready for some practice? Let's look at a few more examples. Decide why each sentence is in the passive. Plans are being made for a manned mission to Mars. Who is making the plans? We can assume scientists or a government agency. We don't need to say exactly who. Ready for another one? All of the leftover birthday cake has been eaten. Who ate the cake? 
Maybe I don't know who ate it. Or maybe I know who ate the cake, but I don't want to blame that person. Okay, one more. My car is still in the shop. It's being repaired. Who is repairing my car? A mechanic, obviously. There is no need to mention the agent. And now, this lesson has been completed. Stay tuned for more information on the passage.